This is a special edition of the Buddy Cianci Show. Decision 2010. The debate between the candidates running for governor of Rhode Island. Brought to you by Dunkin' Donuts and your trusted election leader. News Talk 630, WPRO, and 99.7 FM. Now, here's WPRO News Director and Morning News Anchor, Bill Haberman. Good afternoon and welcome to Debate Week, Decision 2010, the WPRO General Election Debates. We'll be doing a debate a day every day this week at 5 o'clock, including on Wednesday, a debate doubleheader, if you will, at 9 and 5 o'clock, respectively. Tomorrow, the candidates for Secretary of State will meet here. On Wednesday, the candidates for the 1st and 2nd Congressional Districts. Thursday, the Lieutenant Governor candidates. On Friday, the group running for Attorney General. But today, we start at the top of the ticket, our candidates for Governor, as we welcome moderate party candidate Ken Block. Good afternoon. The uh, Democratic General Treasurer, Frank Caprio. Good afternoon, Bill. And uh, Republican John Robitaille. Glad to be here. Gentlemen, thank you for uh, joining us. Link Chafee is uh, refusing to appear at tonight's debate. A microphone will be made available if Senator Chafee chooses to stop by. He had indicated a philosophical problem with uh, Buddy Cianci originally as a reason not to attend the debate, something which evolved into something more personal with Mayor Cianci. But be that as it may, although this is a special edition of the Buddy Cianci show and the former mayor has graciously stepped aside for an hour each day this week, WPRO had clearly stated that the debate would be moderated by me, the news director of the radio station, and not by the mayor. But as with others who have refused, we move forward. Forward. Tonight's debate is made possible by Dunkin' Donuts, interruption free. We thank Dunkin' Donuts for their generosity. Dunkin' Donuts America runs on Dunkin'. A reminder that video of this event is being offered right now at 630WPRO.com. Throughout the debate, you can text your thoughts on who is the winner here. You can text uh, the word vote to 68683. Coming up after the debate, we will have a special edition of the Matt Allen Show. Panelists Jim Hummel and Arlene Violet, who are with us, I should introduce our panelists, Jim Hummel of the Hummel Report. Uh, and former Attorney General and a longtime uh, Rhode Island political commentator, Arlene Violet. Arlene, Hi, thank you. Gentlemen. It's a pleasure to join us. GoLocalProv.com, uh, go local Stephen Beal will also join us after the show to break down the debate and take your phone calls. That'll be 6 until 7 o'clock. The campaigns and the candidates have agreed to rules and time restrictions. Those rules are available at 630WPRO.com. Uh, essentially, we've drawn stores for, uh, stores for, uh, for an order for opening statements. Uh, the, the winner of that drawing is uh, Frank Caprio, and he's chosen to give the first opening statement. Mr. General Treasurer. Thank you, Bill. And I'd like to thank Ken Block and John Robitaille for joining us here for this important debate. You know, today you're driving home in your car or you may still be at your business listening to this debate. And I know that you're working longer and harder for less. You might be uncertain about the prospects of your job or you might be out of work and you're looking for a job. And that's why I'm running for governor is we have to get this economy moving. And I've put forth a plan, a small business plan that focuses on putting wind at the back of the small businesses. If we can get every small business in our state to add one job, just one, we'd cut unemployment in half. And I would have loved to ask Link Chafee tonight how his plan to tax so many items right now that aren't taxed in Rhode Island would have helped families across our state who are looking at a pile of bills on their kitchen table, wondering how, the, how they're going to get by this week or this month. I look forward to this debate tonight, and again, thank you for the invitation. Thank you, Treasurer. Mr. Block. Good afternoon. Thank you for putting the, the debate together again. And again, my appreciation to everyone who's participating. Uh, I reached a, a break point. Uh, roughly two to three years ago, I was fairly politically not aware. And I realized that you had to be. Because what was happening to our state, what was happening to me personally, and to the ma great many people without jobs, was that our elected officials have not been uh, doing a good job at fixing the things that most Rhode Islanders care about. We want jobs. We want a quality education. And we're not getting that. And for me, it became uh, really boiled down to one thing. We are not getting people elected into office who really care to fix the problems that, that we care about. They don't have specific ideas. They don't have policies and plans to fix the things that, we, that are wrong. And that's just what we do so desperately need as a society. That's what we need as families and as individuals. So I started a whole new political party to get people involved in the political process, leaders who can help fix the problems that we have who haven't been part of politics before. It's crucially important, and I hopefully, as I talk to you tonight, you'll realize that I have the ideas that can fix what's broken in this state. Right. Thank you, Mr. Block. Mr. Robita. Thank you, Bill. I'd like to thank WPRO, its sponsors, and also Mr. Caprio and Mr. Block for being here. Um, I, I guess this is almost 20 that we've had together. Uh, these are very important. It's important that your listeners, that the taxpayers, the citizens of Rhode Island, get to hear uh, from those of us who may end up being governor. Uh, I'm a native Rhode Islander. I went to Providence College, served my country. I'm a veteran have uh, 10 years experience in labor relations. I worked for two big corporations. I came back to Rhode Island and started a business right here. 
I am truly appreciative of all of the hardships and all of the issues that small business owners face today in the state of Rhode Island. Rhode Island is not business friendly, hasn't been business friendly for a long time. We've also had a very serious imbalance in government here in Rhode Island for many, many years. For 70 years, one party, the Democrat Party, has ruled the General Assembly. And during that time, they have bloated government and had to raise taxes in order to be able to pay for all the programs and, and all of the departments that uh, Rhode Island's government has grown to. But we've reached a point, a, a tipping point, where we have to uh, shrink government and lower taxes. Thank you, Mr. Robitaille. Uh, and this is where Senator Chafee would have delivered an opening statement. He is not.